Okay, here's a video on the issue I'm having with uh, with the Hermit. Um, I just got it here. Um, actually, just started messing with it about a week ago, and I noticed that the this motor here was not um, spinning up properly. It would kind of intermittently stop, and uh, I was look, trying to figure out why that was. And um, I checked the connection points uh, on, on the motor here. I made sure this was plugged in all the way and seated, um, and also to the board. Um, and I also made sure I did the uh, calibration on the board and um, made sure all that was right. And uh, after some further investigation, I, I realized that there was actually a, a fault here in this speed controller on this arm. And what happens is, is it's intermittent until I put a little bit of upward pressure on this arm. It's a slight amount of upward pressure. And this motor here... Um, will then kick on and, and run the way it's supposed to. Uh, the intermittent operation stops. So there must be some sort of break uh, in the board here, um, some sort of short, either on the top or bottom side of this board. I assume it's on the top side somewhere because the upward pressure makes it work better um, and, and, and actually turns it on. So I'll demonstrate that now. Turn this power on here. So if I go ahead and arm it, turn it on there, I'll carefully pick this up here. If I give this full throttle, this motor here on the left side Oh, there it goes. Give it right and it stops. So this motor here will just, it's just not, I want to cut out. There it goes. So if I demonstrate now I'm trying to fly it here, so you can see the kind of trouble I'm having. Let's set the camera up here at a little different angle so you can see this. Let's see here. I'm going to try to take, take off of here. Oops. So just intermittently stop there. Let me start back up again. You can kind of see how it's intermittent stopping. See how it's stopping and it turns on and off, and then I get full throttle. Just intermittently, it will turn on and off. Something with the speed controller. If I push up on it, it'll actually. That one just keeps cutting out. There we go. See, it just see, it goes, stops, and it goes. As I come up underneath here, just push up slightly on the bottom of this arm. It, it runs as it should. And so there's some sort of short in that arm, and I don't know why that is. Uh, for fun, I, I just to test this, I also switched uh, this motor, and I switched the two plugs on the flight controller to see if maybe it was a connection point in the flight controller and it, and it still was, uh, this motor was still acting funny. Um, and so it's just kind of an odd problem. And it makes it unflyable because as soon as I try to fly it, it wants to tip over and it cuts out. So it's just this intermittent operation on the motor. So and I don't know, and it goes again, it's kind of pulsating. Do it one more time to show that it repeats. When I push up on it, it's fine. Then it stops. Doing the stopping. When I push up on the bottom of the control arm, and it runs just fine. So I'm suspecting it's the speed controller on the arm. That's my, I guess, the suspect. Um, is that speed controller on here? Um, 
let me know what you guys think. I don't know if you guys can just send me out a, a new arm. Um, that would be ideal, but um, I'll just send this to you guys, and you guys can decide uh, what you think is the best thing uh, to do with that. So maybe uh, some advice to maybe try something else. But like I said, I, I already checked this connection point, and I did the switch. I know it's not the flight controller or the connections here, and you, and you can see that that slight word pressure uh, seems to eliminate the pulsating effect on that motor. So uh, thanks for watching the video.